friend O, Steve here. Hey, Larson. And the Enforcer. And welcome to our very special WrestleMania 38 predictions episode. Larson, you want to explain to the good people how we do our predictions using confidence points. I will. Confidence points. So uh, WrestleMania is a little more complicated because WrestleMania is two nights. We're treating each night of WrestleMania as its own individual separate show. So seven matches on each card. Uh, the match you're most confident in, you give seven confidence points. The match you're least confident in, you give one, so on and so forth. So each match has a unique confidence point value. You get your pick right. You get those points. We add points for the day. It goes towards the mo- monthly total. If you win for the month, get the most points, you get Big Red. And this is only the the what we're going to be covering today are just the first two events or three events, if you want to consider mm-hmm. WrestleMania nights one and two, two events uh, of a long month. We've still got New Japan, Impact, and AAA, Triple mm-hmm. Mania coming up at the end of the month, of, I think the last day of the month. The 30th, yeah. So that should be a lot of fun and a lot of points up for grab there. But getting off to a strong start is important. Indeed. So kicking us off. On night one, we've got Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Uh, I have got Bianca Belair with five confidence points. I think there, I'm I, nothing that has happened will convince me that this isn't her time. I know the go home math with her cutting Becky's hair might give me a little bit of doubt, but I do feel like that was sort of a big deal, the cutting of the hair, because that was such a big story beat. Maybe they didn't want to fit that or they couldn't fit that into the match itself. Uh, so I think it remains. Becky's going to put up a hell of a good fight. I think she's going to fight dirty. And Bianca's going to be the underdog in that match after what happened on Raw. But she's going to persevere. Bianca Belair wins at WrestleMania to win the Raw women's title. Five confidence points. Uh, Completely agreed. I got Bianca with four. Uh, The ending has to be Bianca beating Becky at WrestleMania. It's the largest stage possible for this match to, to, to happen and for Bianca to get her win back from Becky. Bianca for confidence point. What say you, Enforcer? I'm I'm with you guys with Bianca with three, but I think the whole haircutting thing was because Becky wanted to have a new hairdo for Mania. I think that's what the go home math will tell you why she stood tall and, and took her hair. It but looks Bianca, pretty badass too. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Pretty cool. it does yeah. look but pretty Bianca with three, I've got that. It yeah. does look great. Uh, next up, we got New Day, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods taking on Sheamus and Ridge Holland. Uh, I have a feeling that the go-home math on SmackDown tomorrow, Friday, we're shooting this Thursday night, uh, will really educate me in terms of uh, which way I'll go on my final pick. Right now, mm-hmm. though, I feel like it's got to be the New Day winning. I don't have a ton of confidence points on it, only two, but that's my pick right now. All right. Um, I'm going to go with you with the New Day as well, but I think this is a, the the feel-good moment because of what happened to Big E. Maybe we get a Big E strolling out there with them. I've got four on New Day to win this one. I'm kind of with Larson. I might change my pick, but right now I'm leaning towards Sheamus and Ridge Holland because they do have the numbers game. We haven't really seen what Butch can do, and maybe this will illustrate they're a force to be reckoned with. New Day is down a big E. But, yeah, I totally understand your point in that they need a a spiritual win without big E there. They need to redeem big E. Uh, But uh, that being said, the show must go on. And if the original point was perhaps to uh, to get Seamus, Ridge and Butch that faction win. uh, That's why right now I'm leaning with a very small number of confidence points, only with two for Seamus and Ridge Holland. But, yeah, like you said, at SmackDown WrestleMania, that that all matters there. I mean, it's entirely possible that New Day gets the win at WrestleMania, and then the following SmackDown, they do Sheamus, Ridge, and Butch against uh, Kofi, Woods, and another partner, and that's when Like Ricochet or something. Yeah, that's when Sheamus, Ridge, and Butch get their win, too. That could totally be, yeah. Uh, uh, Next, we got for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, the champions, the Usos, defending against Shinsuke Nakamura, and Rick Boogs, Enforcer, who do you got? (laughs) Oh, man. On this one, this is the one where I've got the least confidence points on it because I think I'm gonna I'm taking Shin and Boogs in this one with one confidence point. Um, I don't know why Usos should the cohesive team. Somehow, I think they're just going to give it because Vince loves Boogs. Shin and Boogs, one confidence point. How about you, Steve? I've got the Usos with six. I think that Rome. Well, here's a spoiler alert for a couple more minutes into the episode. Mm-hmm. I think Roman Reigns is going to come away with both titles, like the W Wrestling thumbnail, mm-hmm. red and blue. I know it doesn't make any sense, but they need to do that. <laughs> um, and uh, and so likewise, I think that the Bloodline is going to have 
all the titles. That means the Usos are going to pull away, and I got six confidence on that. I wow. don't see that changing. Yeah, I don't see my pick changing either. I got Usos with three. Uh, I could really put more on there. I'm agree in agreement with Steve. Uh, Bloodline holding all the belts to end the show Sunday okay. night. Next, we got Ray and Dominic Mysterio taking on The Miz and Logan Paul. Steve, you have a theory about this. Please share. I do. One of our my awesome uh, friendos over there at Wrestle Juice in the comments noted that, and I, I apologize, I got a bunch of them over here. Um, I don't, so I don't know who it is. Noted that last year they did the Logan Paul turns on Sami Zayn celebrity moment at WrestleMania, um, and this person in my Wrestle Juice comments theorized that this would be a great place for Dom to turn heel, and it would totally justify the go home math. I've got one confidence point. On the Miz and Logan Paul. Uh, yeah, uh, after uh, after you said that, it kind of swayed me. Again, I might change my pick here depending on the flow of the show um, and what my gut's telling me. But right now, you know, like some minutes of the go home math on Raw favored who I was thinking was going to win at Mania anyways, and they can't all go that way, right? Um, so uh, right now, I'll say Miz Logan Paul with one. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still in this. Uh, I, this is the first I've heard of this theory before our, our shoot today. Um, so when I was making this, I had the Mysterios at five. Now, of course, that could change, or I could just leave it as is because my sleeper was the Boogs and the Shin one. If that works out, oh, man, out in the lead for, for the old enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah. Love to see it. Uh, yeah, so so yeah, that was Mysterio's of five. Yeah. Uh, next, shoeing in the night, Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. I assume we all have Drew with seven, right? Seven, Drew with seven. Um, I actually have a, a six on that, but yes, I'm very confident with that. Yes. All right, very well. Next, uh, Seth Rollins versus mystery opponent Cody Rhodes. Um, Cody Rhodes. Steve, uh, sorry, Enforcer. Who do you got? Oh man, what does the Enforcer love? A TBA. Is this oh. my guy? Is it going to be heavy metal? Be, is it going to be heavy metal? Will it be heavy metal? Uh, what? It, regardless, TBA, seven confidence points. It's my guy. Let's go, baby. TBA. TBA I love me a TBA. Steve, who do you yep. got? I have got TBA with four confidence points. I find it hard to believe they would debut anybody unless it's maybe a Cena Kurt Angle thing where Gable Steveson, like we've speculated, shows yeah. up, takes Seth Rollins to his limit, makes a star out of himself on the grant on the biggest stage, and then Seth ends up winning. Yeah. Uh I guess that's a total possibility. But I've got four confidence points on Cody, Cody, Cody freaking Rhodes. Yeah, assuming it's Cody, I have six confidence points. If Cody's showing up, he's winning at WrestleMania. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And everything, uh, save for, you know, one report about maybe Cody backing out, everything else seems to indicate Cody's going to be Seth's opponent at WrestleMania. Uh, I got Cody with six. If it's somebody else, then I'll, 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 I'll reconsider. You said Cody yeah, with we four, have, right? Steve? We have till we have till the bell. Yeah, I got Cody with four. Gotcha. We have till the bell rings to yep. to, to get our bets in. Exactly. Yep, we do. Exactly. Uh, the presumptive main event, at least in terms of a match, mm-hmm. night one. Charlotte Flair yeah. defending the SmackDown's title against Ronda Rousey. Steve, who do you got? So I would be more confident in this. I've got Ronda Rousey, but I've only got three confidence points because. They might they might look at this and say Ronda's been falling flat lately. Um, uh, her promos suck. Uh, she didn't show up to Raw the other night, which who knows what that situation was. Uh, maybe maybe she's just not into it. Maybe they're not into it. Maybe they love her. I think that if if I were to bet on anything, it'd be Ronda Rousey tapping out Charlotte Flair because that's been the whole story. Uh, but I got three confidence points on Ronda Rousey. I'm I'm feel safe with that. All right, uh, I got Ronda with five. You know, even if they're having second thoughts about long term pushing Ronda, yeah, I kind of feel like where they have now is a place for now, and Ronda's going to get that win. Uh, maybe in the hopes that having her get that win and moving on to the next thing will kind of reignite something um, because this this whole feud kind of fallen flat. Uh, I got Ronda with five. Um, much like uh, Steve said, you know, a uh, uh, flip of a switch here. They get there, and this thing could change. So I've only got two on Shirani, but um, 
I I don't anticipate uh, uh, them deviating from that because it is WrestleMania and that is a big uh, headline. Exactly. Especially, yeah. Ronda gets yeah, the win. So Ronda the headline, night one. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. That's that's, yep. that's that's headlines right there. Uh, let's move on to night two of WrestleMania. First match I have listed here: Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn. I mean, the story of this is that is Knoxville beats him. You know, Knoxville was in the Rumble, got embarrassed. Sami eliminated him from the Rumble. Uh, they've kind of made each other's life a living hell since then. Uh, again, headlines in newspapers if Knoxville gets the win here. I got Knoxville right now with six. Yeah, that's a smart move. I've got Knoxville with six as well. They have removed any doubt by removing the Intercontinental Championship and adding the anything mm-hmm. goes stipulation. Mm-hmm. So they could do whatever they want. Knoxville can bring the entire cast of Jackass, which I'm sure we'll see some of them. Um, and uh, and and they'll they'll make sure Sami Zayn eats the pin or however this is going to work. Knoxville with six as well. Yeah, I'm much like in line with you guys. And that Knoxville is going to bring his cast of characters. They're going to do some outlandish stuff. But yeah, uh, this is for the night two lock of the night for me. Knoxville with seven. Knoxville with seven. Next, we got Amos taking on Bobby Lashley. Enforcer, who do you got? Well, uh, the whole big spot of Omas uh, uh, taking the bump has already been done here. But I really don't think... Lashley is uh, is all healthy there. I think he's not going to do any more damage to himself. I think it is going to be Omas. Uh, I don't feel extremely confident about it, but still uh, uh, somewhat confident. I'm going to give this one four confidence points for Omas. Um, yeah, I'm close to that. I've got five confidence points on Omas for everything you just said. Yeah, I got Omas with five for same. Um, <laughs> there you go. Next. Same. The Raw Tag Team Championships. RK Bro, the champions, taking on Street Profits and um, uh, Alpha Academy. I'm going to American Alpha. Steve, who do you got? Man, I've got RK Bro. This one I might... I might switch my confidence points, but I'll be honest. This is this is actually as low as I can go because there's two other matches I'm so uncertain about. Um, I, I got RK Bro with three confidence points. They are their biggest act. Could they break them up at WrestleMania? Way to suck the air out of the building if they do that. <laughs> Maybe save that for the Raw after WrestleMania where you have an arena crowd that can really voice their displeasure as opposed to a bunch of families there at WrestleMania yeah. deflated. They want them to buy that the, that Mr. McMahon merch. Uh, so I got RK Bro in a really great, maybe their last big signature moment at WrestleMania. Randy Orton loves working with Matt Riddle, mm-hmm. and I think he kind of likes working with him as a partner as opposed mm-hmm. to against him. Mm-hmm. So I say they retain, and I got three confidence points on that. Yeah, I, I agree with everything you said. I got RK Bro with one. Um, but yeah, depending again, flow of the show, uh, that could change. Um, it's, it's either between RK Bro and Alpha Academy. Pretty cool if Alpha Academy got that WrestleMania moment, you know. Street profits aren't going to come close to this. No, no, no. How much like it. with yeah? How much like with you guys? Where I, I think it's RK Bro, but I have the, the the lowest amount. I've only got one, just like you said, Larson. Mm-hmm. I'd I'd love to see Alpha uh, Alpha Academy get this, but I still think it's RK Bro. Yeah, we're going to get that big pop and then break them up li- later on down the road. Yep. Uh, next we got. Mr. Pupe his pants. Pat Pupe McAfee. Pupe his pants. Taking on Austin Theory. I don't have a ton of confidence on this one. What we've seen from Pat McAfee in his two matches at NXT is that he's willing to do he, – he'll put on a hell of a match. He's not afraid to take the L. True. Uh, WB, Vince particularly, seemingly in kayfabe and out of kayfabe, is very high on Austin Theory. I have a hard time believing they're going to have Austin Theory, save for some outside interference, losing – to a commentator at WrestleMania. I, I got only two confidence points on Austin Theory. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, have the, I have the exact same. I've got two confidence points on Austin Theory. Um, it makes me wonder how Shane is going to factor into all this. Of course, Austin Theory has, if he's going to factor in this at all, the reporters are bringing him in. It would kind of make sense. Austin Theory has taken Shane's place as Vince's son in a way. If Shane were to come back and help Pat McAfee, that wouldn't shock me. That being said, everything you said is totally true. They love Austin Theory. You make a big deal out of him. You uh, maybe protect him. Maybe Shane comes back to help Austin Theory. Um, You give Pat a relatively 
you can protect him a little bit, even though you don't need to. He's a big deal. He's got a big audience. They want to protect somebody like that to mm -hmm. a degree. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, Austin Theory is their guy. He's going to be main eventing WrestleMania in less than five years. Uh, I got Austin Theory with two. Uh, everything you said makes sense, and that's why I'm going to run the other way. I'm taking McAfee with assistance from Here Comes the Money. Here Comes the Money. Mix on McAfee. Whoa. Get Whoa. this job done, baby. Once Man you get a preliminary, pick. this shit could change. That's true. But right now, wow. as it wow. sits, McAfee. Pooping his pants on a six. Wow. Yeah. His pants. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, next, women's tag titles. You got champions uh, Zelina Vega, Carmella taking on uh, Sasha and Naomi, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley, Shayna and Natalia. Enforcer, who do you got? Um, I I bought into this uh, uh, right when Naomi said, this is going to be our next tag team champions. And she was like, yeah. Sasha, Naomi, three confidence points. I know multi-man or multi-people uh, matchups usually lower here, but I kind of think this is probably a shoe-in of multi-team matchups here. In my mind, anyway. Yeah. Um, I have one confidence point on Sasha and Naomi. I think they're, everybody has a case against them. Everybody. Sasha should be a singles wrestler. The case is made against her. Rhea got the win on Raw. The case is against her. Uh, Shayna and, and, and Natalia or Shayna and Natalia and then uh, Zelina and Mella I mean it's they, they've had their time uh, they should get one thing I looked at again this is in the kickoff show I don't like going down heavy in the kickoff show which is another reason I only put one confidence point on this um, they you would if this is AEW I'd go easily with Sasha and Naomi because of the biggest faces probably maybe re and live mm -hmm. but they're not afraid to have heels win in the kickoff show. They're they're evidently they don't care about selling their pay per views because they got the Peacock deal. So you don't really need to sell the crowd on a happy win or anything. That being said, one confidence point on Sasha and Naomi. Uh, I got Sasha and Naomi with four. Um, as soon as the match was made, them uh, against Zelina and Carmel, I kind of felt like all right, they're winning, and you know it. it even though they expanded the field for this match, I haven't really seen much that's really going to change my mind. I'll probably end at the end of the, at the end of the day put fewer confidence points on it, but I feel pretty sure about Sasha and Naomi picking up the win here. It feels right. It they does, feel yeah. right as tag I mean, champions. Sasha has not won at WrestleMania. She is like zero for yeah. six. She yeah. needs a win. Yeah. Yeah. Odd Sasha they haven't. If they if they had me, have, has commentary mentioned that? If they had mentioned it once. Mm -mm. I would be like, oh shit! Then that they mentioned I mean, it. They that's going to be the thing. They have, they have WrestleMania. They Smackdown do have WrestleMania match, SmackDown. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, next dream match, Blue Edge taking on AJ Styles. Steve, who do you got here? Right now, and I might go lower on this, but it's hard to see how. Right now, I've got Blue Edge. He's got the repackage. Um, AJ hasn't really shown much, like. He had an interview, and he was like, oh, oh, man, I, I can't stand this guy. He hasn't really done much except get sidelined by Seth Rollins to say, hey, I want to take this guy out. Um, Edge has all the all the bells and whistles. I feel like this is just going to be a really competitive match. Blue Edge is going to win, go on to bigger, better things, and uh, AJ really won't be affected that much by it. They, they might rematch this at, at Backlash. And maybe AJ can get a win back there, but a WrestleMania Blue Edge will reign supreme. I've got four confidence points. Four on, on Blue Edge. My goodness. I do, yeah. Uh, oh, right my. now, I got three on AJ. Uh, it, it, if I knew this would be a multi match series, I would pick Edge then at this juncture because Edge, if that's the case, Edge would win the first. AJ would ultimately win the feud. Don't know if that's going to be the case at this point. One point to make at, because you just made that point. Virtually all of AJ's feuds since he's come back have been multi-feud matches and or multi-match feuds. Same with Edge, too. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I said Edge. My bad. I meant yeah, Edge. Um, so I might actually end up changing this based on how I'm doing going with the show. Mm -hmm. um, but walking into this, not knowing if it's multi-match feud, uh, AJ needs to come out on top at the very end. And if this is the end, then AJ needs to win this. So I got AJ with three. Yeah. Uh, much like with uh, what you're saying, Larson, I've got AJ here with two, but I got a little bit of a different reason. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm taking Roman. Um, and I don't really think 
that he is going to be doing the moonlighting like we want to hope so. And I think this win will position AJ when they re-debut the new title to be a shoe in to at least be in that match to get that new Raw title, whatever it may be. So I got AJ with two confidence points on that one. All right. Main event, night two, title for title, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. I mean... Uh... I've kind of waffled back and forth, not on my pick, but on confidence point. I've kind of been pretty sure that Roman was going to win. Mm-hmm. Brock is very popular right now. Extremely popular. Face yeah. Brock is super over. So at first, at a certain point, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm still pretty sure Roman's going to win, but maybe they'll go with Brock because he's super over. But after Roman mentioned, I haven't beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. That's the one thing I haven't done. And what has Roman been doing, especially the last six months? Going through and beating the people he hasn't beat. Yep. We saw him beat yep. Seth Rollins. Throw him with seven. Max confidence points. He's going mm-hmm. over. He's holding up both those titles. He technically lost to Seth. But Roman was seven. <laughs> he, yeah, uh, I love this other one. He beat Seth so bad he lost. Yes. Because that's, yeah. what that's what it was. That's, and yeah. he, but you're absolutely right. He's been confronting the ghosts of his past, mm-hmm. the people that have wronged him. Brock Lesnar, the second they mentioned, because I was kind of waffling on confidence. Yeah. The second he said, I've lost to, I've never beat Brock at WrestleMania, and that bugs me, seven confidence yep. points. Yeah, I'm there with you guys. I got Roman, but uh, clearly because I got some bigger uh, 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 fish out there, I got Roman with five. Roman with five. Uh, just to sort of hedge my bet a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I love, uh, I love face Brock, but yeah, Roman saying he ain't beat him yet. That means he's beat. He means beat him. Thank yeah. you for correcting me, Steve. My memory is garbage. It happened in January, or whatever. It was. I don't get to correct you very often. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Take advantage when you can. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to NXT stand deliver real quick. I know Steve and I went over our picks. Oh, yeah. uh, in our recap of this, we didn't have yeah. Enforcer there, the so best. we're gonna get Enforcer on board here. Uh, he's gonna kick us off with the first match. This is in the kickoff show, Toxic Attraction versus Raquel Gonzalez, Dakota Kai for the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. Enforcer, who do you got? I'm coming out swinging right here. Toxic Attraction, losing those belts. Raquel and Dakota, five confidence points. Fuck! In the kickoff show? In the kickoff show, sir. Enforcer yeah. wins it in the kickoff show. Potentially. Um, I'm worried about losing it in the kickoff show. Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm gone really small confidence points, but I'm with you. I'm on board. I think Raquel and Dakota. I think Toxic Attraction is going to have a bad night, and I think that starts with Raquel yeah. and Dakota winning those tag titles. One confidence, confidence points. One confidence point. So I'm going to go with Toxic Attraction only with two, and here's why. It's on the kickoff show. Mm-hmm. We can have a weird finish. We can have Wendy Chu interfere to get back at Toxic Attraction for beating her up backstage. Mm-hmm, you know, yeah. and we don't know how this reunion between uh, Raquel and Dakota is going to affect Dakota's relationship with Wendy Chu. Too many variables in play for me to say with any degree of confidence that Raquel and Dakota, who just got back together after feuding with for moments, yes, yeah. are going to be yeah. like a, a cohesive team. I'm sticking with the champions. Toxic Attraction, two confidence points. Okay. Way uh, to rain on my parade. Sorry, Enforcer. <laughs> yeah, uh, North American title ladder match. Steve, who do you got? I got the A champ. I got Carmelo. Uh, I think that Grimes has an outside chance because of his dead dad, I guess. Uh, that being said, Melo's done proper work as the A champion. He has become I, – I, I'd have to look at the actual list – but he might be the top North American champion of all time at this mm. point. I know there's been some other names. Adam Cole is in there. A yeah. couple other names John, in there. Roger Gargano. Strong. Jo- John. Johnny Gargano. Did he have any title defense? Any successful title defense? That was just for the NXT title. I yeah. think he never actually successfully defended it. Uh, yeah, Carmelo. I got two confidence points because the ladder match, a lot of people. Low confidence points. Indeed. Carmelo all the way. Uh, everything you said, Melo won. Yeah, uh, this one is going to be match of the uh, afternoon, morning, wherever yeah, it may be, be and it's it's going to be uh, and and I and I got Carmelo uh, retaining one confidence point. Yes. Uh, next for the tag titles, you got Imperium, the De Champions, defending against MSK and the Creed Brothers. So the Creed Brothers, they're out of it. Whoever attacked them is going to cost them any opportunity to win these titles. So if it's pretty deadly, they're going to cost them Creed Brothers a match. I don't know I mean, the the area code that. Uh, Brutus Creed mentioned was in the Boston uh, area. So who knows? Maybe it's somebody else. Anyways. Ed Edwards. Yeah, maybe it's Ed Edwards. Yeah. Creed Brothers. Honor No More. Not winning. Honor No More coming in there. Yeah. Yeah. So really, this decision comes down to like MSK really should not be in this match. 
no, they, they should, should not. not be in this match. So this decision comes down to the WrestleMania NXT WrestleMania panel, which featured <laughs> Braun Breaker, <laughs> Carmelo Hayes, Cora Jade, and MSK, all with the chance to leave this show as champion. You know, dude, they're gonna have a champions out, panel. I got MSK with three. If that pans out, Man. my God, <laughs> that that that'd be pretty pretty slick of you. Um, I've got MSK with five. Because, look, part of me wants to think, okay, they're going to keep Imperium strong. Gunther uh, uh, is going to beat LA Knight. Uh, and so Imperium's got to win here. So uh, I might change this before the show begins. Uh, but right now I'm leaning towards MSK with five. Okay. Um, I, like you said, uh, uh, Gunther is going to have that, that match against, yeah, LA Knight. Um, and I think this creates the rise of the Imperium in 2.0 here as a truly a three-man stable here. That's why I think Imperium's retaining with two. All right, next we got L.L.A. Knight. Yeah. 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 Taking on Walter. <laughs> Enforcer, who you got? Oh, man. Uh, 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 Walter slash Gunther seven all day. Gunther Steve. with the win. Gunther seven. I don't know who this Gunther guy is. I'm taking Walter seven confidence points. <laughs> you know, Walter ain't going to be there, man. <laughs> Walter's always there. So, so you can afford Fitch and then yeah, have right? fucking yeah. Walter there. Yeah. Any technicality. If this was maybe. fucking official, man, they'd be like, sorry, son. I don't sorry, know who that there's is. No, sorry, there's no yeah. Walter on the roster. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> next, Tommaso Ciampa, maybe his last match in NXT. I feel like you said that seven times already. Uh, taking on Tony D'Angelo. Steve, who do you got? I got Tony D with three. I hate that. And I part of me, I might change this too because I really just want them to give Champa. Man, he's going to have a, a picture of him walking out of the NXT arena in black and white saying goodbye with Braun. And then another one with Tony D. I might end up changing. Fuck it. Right now, my default's going to be changing it to Champa with three. All right. Champa wow. with three. Wow. Okay. Uh, you know what's going to happen is that. Tony D'Angelo's going to get his crowbar. He's going to whack Tommaso Ciampa with it. He's going to get the win, and Tommaso Ciampa's not even going to get a picture in black and white on Twitter because he's going to teleport to the main roster, Steve. <laughs> oh, he's going to quantum leap. He's going to okay. teleport. Wow. He's out of All there. All right. Okay. He's already had his goodbye yeah. promo in front of the, the, the crowd there. He's gone. That's several. Yeah. Yeah, several. Yeah, several I got Tony them, D'Angelo yeah. five confidence points. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're, I think there was even a wake for, the, for him uh, 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 before as well. Um, yeah, it's basically going against... Champa leaving heroes uh, 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 send off or doing the right thing for the company that he's leaving there. I think it's doing the right thing. Hey, oh, Tony D'Angelo hey. for confidence points. And I really don't think I'm wavering off of that. All right. Next, we got for the NXT Women's Championship champion, Mandy Rose taking on Cora Jade, Io Shirai, and Kaylee Ray. Again, Cora's on the panel. Hmm. EO and Kaylee Ray, I feel like they're going to cancel each other out. They might have a feud afterwards, or they might get called to the main roster, or EO might get called to the main roster. Uh, Core has already had a title shot. She lost in the triple threat match against uh, Raquel and Mandy. Feels like her time. Uh, Core can win here. Uh, Gigi and JC can keep the titles, eventually losing them probably to Raquel and Dakota once that story works itself out. I got Core Jade with four. Mm, okay. I see that there. Uh, yeah, Cora Jade there um, uh, um, is 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 a tempting thing. Uh, Io and Ka and uh, and uh, Ka 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 Kaylee Ray. Not sure if there's going to be a movement to the main roster, like you said, or they just cancel each other out. And then you got Mandy. Mandy Rose, I don't think is retaining here. But like you said, Raquel somehow she's got a relationship with Cora Jade. I think over what happened to her losing the belt. She goes out there and helps her out there, gets Cora Jade the win. Three confidence points on that one. Uh, I've got Cora with five as well. Uh, I don't know why I said as well. I've got Cora with five. Um, and I've also made some changes. All right. Uh, Champa, two. MSK, three. Mello, four. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. wow! Super wow. preliminary here. Wow! So, so be on the lookout for our early Saturday morning. Yeah, if we decide to change from anything, Steve yes. 
when uh, you know he fight, he, you know he, he all this emotion r- runs out of Steve, and then he realizes he needs to change something. Could be, yeah. could be, <laughs> right? Could be. Well, let's go to our main event. I have a feeling uh, none of us be changing the outcome of this yeah! one. We got Dolph taking on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Braun Breaker. Yeah! I think the question is: Is Braun's dad and or uncle going to join him out for ringside? Yeah, for this particular bout. Yeah! Enforcer, what do you say? Oh man, he's coming out with the super early '90s Zubaz singlet. With the chainmail chain garb mail. up top. Chainmail. Braun Breaker. Yeah. Six confidence points getting it done, baby. Same. Braun six. Yep. Me too. Braun six. All right. There you go. There you have it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to share the video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you live on the Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Steven Larson for WrestleMania nights one and two. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Later.